Could you guys imagine a house that you could get for a mortgage? If your mortgage was five thousand dollars, how how nice of a home do you think you all could get? Man, like, do we have the house yeah. I'm building now? Is six rooms, and our mortgage is like eleven hundred bucks. So, yeah. so <laughs> let's just let's just say that I gave you five thousand dollars to go spend on a mortgage. All right, you know, I know right. I have one fickle person like, oh, in New York, you can't get anything. You get an apartment for that. Yeah, I understand that, but let's just be reasonable here, okay? So five thousand dollars for a mortgage. All right, dream home. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Now, what I also want to give you is I want to give you another five thousand dollars to go spend on vehicles, not just for you. Also, I want to go and get ahead and have you spend one on a on a on a loved one, whether whoever like it is. me. Okay, <laughs> so twenty five hundred dollars. I can tell you right now. I could probably go get one of the best Mercedes Benzes, whatever, and pay the insurance for twenty five hundred dollars a month. Right. Okay. I know that they're they're leasing the GLEs, whatever, for like nine fifty or something, or even a thousand dollars. Fifteen hundred twenty five hundred dollars a month for each, right? So I just gave you guys ten thousand dollars. You see it? Right. Ready? Now here's what else you're gonna need. You're gonna need food. You're gonna need food, right? So let's just imagine that you're spending five thousand a month. Okay. So even if you have a family of four, whatever, you're not gonna quite hit generally $500 a week in food per se. T-bone, steak, cheese, eggs, and Welch is great, but what I'm baby, trying to say is let's that, go. Let's let's just say that, um, you know, maybe you go a little bit more than that, but um, again, thinking I'm giving you 5,000 a month, so that that's um, your 1250 a week, right? 1250 a week. So if you spend $700 on groceries, it still gives you like $500 to go spend, to go out to dinner. Mm -hmm. That's two, three or four really good fancy nights. Everyone see where I'm going? So I just mm -hmm. gave you $15,000. So you've got a roof over your head, which is amazing. You got a nice vehicles to get around, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. You got food, food in your pockets, right? 15,000. Now you're gonna need, um, you know, clothes. Um, uh, you're going to need um some uh spending money uh just so that you can go out and do entertainment and stuff like that so i'm going to give you another five thousand uh, dollars a month to go do all those things that, uh, yeah, that you want to go do building over here okay that's Everyone another... reach below your computer chair right now <laughs> that's an <laughs> i'm gonna zap this money into you but that's another okay. 1250 a week to just go do it every one. I don't care if you want to like go spend money at the racetrack, even if you were doing that, right? So now we're at $20,000, okay? So now what I want you to do is I want to give you another $5,000 to put in away a month into investments to, to invest for your retirement portfolios. Mm -hmm. Everybody see where I'm going with this? <laughs> the number comes out to $25,000. <gasps> like you could literally live an amazing, an amazing life at a measly 25,000 a month. Now, for those of you guys that are probably not hitting, you know, 3,000, 4,000 a month. That's 21 clients, by the way, at 1,200 a month. <laughs> what you're seeing online of all these people telling you that you have to go win a gold record, you gotta make a million, you gotta make a million, gotta make a million. Be careful, be careful, because um, you can really have a very, very nice life, like really, really nice at just 25, all right? And I know for some of you right now that that number may be really far away, okay? But I want you to really see how close it is. And that's really my point as I went over here to start to tell you. Now, this may not be something that's, you know, achievable your first year, but by golly means, folks, remember that this hill that you're climbing is going to get easier. You know, remember, this is you up here and you're going to dial it in and you're going to see ways to fill your pipeline. So as you guys right now, we're only filling it at, you know, five, 600 cold emails a day. And that's getting you, you know, the one or two contacts a day, which is going to hopefully get you, you know, two to three book demo calls per week, stuff like that. And so once you start really cracking the system, all it is is turning it up. You do what I did. Guess what I did? I went and hired a second VA and I doubled my amount of cold email. I gave Adam a number today and he almost like fell off his desk. He's like, what the oh God are we doing? No, because I went and hired a third uh, person to help me do this stuff. Okay, and of course, yes, like they're doing Facebook and LinkedIn and all the different stuff. And so long story short is that what I'm showing you is the system. And, and I can assure you that this system 
is the exact system that every single one of these people that you see doing super high six, seven and eight figures. It's generating leads, having conversations, these demo calls, making offers and closing deals. And it's just a cycle. Maybe they're offering a slightly different product. That's fine. Watch, you're seeing it big on your hands because you're going to see Don doing. He's offering a slightly different product, slightly different, but it's all about generating eyeballs. In order to have a business, you must have sales. If you can tell more people about your business, it's a factor of numbers. Someone's going to just say yes. You're going to bump into somebody. You know, unless you truly have the most shittiest product in the world, you know, which I understand that, but you guys are not doing that. You have something that people want. A lot of people want it. Matter of fact, it's very much needed. It's in You're reaching out to you for advice. Remember that. So, <laughs> okay. Um, I definitely have to end this tonight. Um, and I want to thank you all.